Hello, this is Gail Morton. I'm going to show you a database that's going to help you with your papers. Um, so again, we're going to start at the library's main page, libraries.mercer.edu. We're going to scroll down here a little bit. And we're going to look for research guides and tutorials. So our databases are um, split up according to subject here. We have 44 subjects that I put your class in psychology could go in sociology, could go in a number of places. So I'm the psychology librarian. Put it there. Here it is. And I did make something for y'all. So when hopefully by the time you see this, you'll see your class INT201 down here. But for now, I'm going to use right here psychology. And I'm going to select right here research library pro quest. And it keeps opening up to that, but I want to show you this. I'm going to do a criminalization of poverty and Georgia. I'm not going to hit enter yet because you could see they give you all these choices here. I can look at this one. That's Atlanta. Let's just look at here. Okay. And you see the word Hispanics? It's an older word. It's Latina, Latinx. But you'll see older vocabulary in here. Just be aware of that. Okay, and I got 5,292 results. That's great. Scholarly journals. There's 3,619. If you need peer-reviewed journals, must click up here. Just because something is scholarly doesn't mean it's peer-reviewed. So a peer-reviewed article is an article that was sent out to a journal, reviewed by peers of that subject, and they decided whether they would publish it or not. So let's just say like your professor, Dr. Appleby, she wrote an article, she has to send it into a journal, and other professors in her field read her article, they may edit it a little bit, and then they publish it. So that's peer-reviewed. And if you need that, you need to click on peer-reviewed. Full text, I would. There's over, what, 3,434. Sometimes all the, the articles on here are not in full text. Sometimes it's just an abstract. You can still get the full text, but we'd have to do it a little differently. We'd have to go through something called interlibrary loan, where we would borrow it from another library. It takes a little bit of time, maybe about a week or two, but if you start your research early, it's a good benefit. Okay, so I, I, I've knocked it down to 3,085 peer-reviewed journals. I can change my date range, so I can slide this from here all the way down to here. I'm just going to leave it. If you need to enter a date range, then you can slide or you can just you know, enter date range here. From here, you can change it right there. Okay. I'm just going to leave it alone for now. I'll show you some of the other things you can do. Document type, language, database, location, company, organization. Interesting. So this is where they're getting their information from. Bureau of the Census, Congress, Department of Education. I clicked on one of these. That's where my articles would come from. Let's say I needed a quantitative journal. There we go. Now I have 862. You got a quantitative analysis. Okay. I'm going to open one. Rural destinations. Again, this is, I think it's Georgia. I don't know what this one is. This is about culture. Okay. Full text PDF is here. You can download the PDF here. This is the site. So if you, if you like this, you should cite it. I'm not sure what citation style I'm using, so I'm going to guess. Um, Maybe APA 7. 
There it is. Now, not all these citations are correct, so please get the, this one's wrong. I can tell you right away. Um, so please get your citations checked. You can come to the library or you can chat with us or email us your paper and we'll check your citations for you. You can tell this one's off right away because I can tell just by this title. That ain't right. So turn your papers if you'd like I said, if you want a quick citation check, just turn them into one of the librarians. They'll help you with that. It also does, um, you can see all these types of citations. Here's Chicago. Um, and MLA, that's a big one. I just click on MLA and it'll give you the MLA one. And it looks better, but it's still not. For any citations, <laughs> get, them, get them checked out of that. Okay, so that's how you find um, an article, a quantitative article, using ProQuest Research Library.